Hey guys, it's Addison from Fieldcraft Survival. I just want to show you guys this new product that just came to the shop from Cagworks. It's their uh, extended slider release for the Glock. All right, so for a lot of shooters, when they have the high grip with their support hand, they tend to pin down the actual slide stop with their support hand, which doesn't allow the slide to lock open when they have an empty magazine. Now, Cagworks, came up with a pretty smart solution to it. What they did is they actually raised and extended their slide stop so that you can still get that high grip on your pistol, but not lock down the slide stop and still have full function of your gun. Another thing that Cagworks did that was pretty cool, they've actually added this little shelf or a little bump out on their extended slide release. What that does is it gives you a better surface area to rest your thumb on. That way you have more leverage and it takes less effort to actually send that slide home. So now that I've talked about some of the features and benefits of the CAGWORKS extended slide release, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick install video for you. But before I do that, I want to make sure to let you know it will not work with the new Gen 5 Glocks, only the Gen 3 and the Gen 4. Let's get started with the install. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna actually clear out our weapon. We're gonna check the chamber, the breech face, and inside the magwell. Once we've checked all three points, and we're sure that it's not loaded, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop off our slide and set it aside. All we're gonna need is a frame for this part. All you're gonna need is a punch, or maybe even a small screwdriver. And that's it. Something that will fit inside this trigger pin here. Once you've found your tool and you're ready to remove your existing, your old slide release, we're gonna go ahead and press in on this pin slightly. While we're pressing in on that pin, we're actually gonna grab the slide release and wiggle it around. As you can see here, you don't actually have to take your trigger pin all the way out, just enough so that you can slide your old slide release out and then slip your new CAGWORKS extended slide release in. You can just set it right to the side of your trigger here. And while doing that, you're gonna press forward and you're gonna wiggle. While you do that, you can actually press your trigger pin in. Just like that. Now once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and reattach your slide. And your installation is complete. So that install was pretty easy. It only took a couple minutes. No real uh, special tools, no real special skills, just a little bit of time. Uh, once you have it installed, next thing we need to do is actually do a function test. So obviously it locks the slide to the rear. Now we need to check to make sure it actually releases and relocks the slide to the rear. And we need to make sure that we have an empty magazine and that it locks to the rear on an empty magazine, which it does. So that was a good install. Everything works perfect. You can reach it real easy. I'm not uh, the biggest guy, I'm 5'7". My hands aren't the biggest, but I can still reach that, that extended slide release real easy. All right guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you had more questions or comments about the uh, new CAGWORKS extended slide release, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to us at fieldcraftsurvival.com. Uh, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, if you have any more questions, go ahead and hit us up there. We'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. And always remember to stay alert, stay alive.